All right, so in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to cover graphene installation and usage. At the moment, graphene is only distributed by source code. You can download this from our GitHub site that you see here. Um, and in this tutorial, we'll explain how to compile it and run a test application. Graphene requires currently a Linux host running on x86-64 instruction set architecture. We do have experimental support for FreeBSD hosts, as well as the PowerPC architecture, and more we hope to support in the future, but these are not as well um, maintained as Linux and x86. On Ubuntu, there are a few additional packages that you need to compile, uh, but they're relatively minimal. And I will also note that graphene works both for running code in enclaves, as well as just running um, in a contained environment on a regular Linux host. For SGX specifically, there are a few additional packages required. Um, largely some protobuf and some uh, cryptography libraries that we require. An important prerequisite is that you need to be able to run on a kernel that supports the FSGS base instruction. So this would include Linux 5.9 or newer. Um, there is also a patch that we have linked on our website that backports this support onto Linux 5.4. There are also some out of tree modules that turn this on, but they have a well known security problem. So we would advise strongly using 5.9 or the backported 5.4 patch rather than a module. Um, but if you want to just play with it and you understand the risks, this is an option. Finally, you need the SGX SDK and driver for Linux. Graphene supports both the DCAP driver and the original out-of-tree uh, SGX driver from Intel. Um, we do note that with the original SGX driver, it also requires the syscontrol command, which basically allows applications to map address zero. Um, and this is basically a limitation of the SGX driver that creates regions that otherwise you have trouble mapping some areas of the address space. Um, with the SGX DCAP driver, this is not a problem. So the steps for building graphene are relatively straightforward. Um, so first you download the source using a git clone. Um, one new step is that to sign your enclaves, you do need to generate a signing key using this command, which again is also in the README. Uh, and then from there, you do a, a regular compilation um, with a flag SGX equals one to build in SGX mode versus non SGX mode. And then finally, there's a step of creating SGX tokens, which generates all of the, myth, all of the um, necessary signatures to run in SGX. So to actually test your build, once everything works, we have a hello world example under libOS shim test native. So again, you can do make, make SGX uh, tokens. And then instead of just running hello world directly, which you could do just at the command line and run it in a regular process, you would instead run it first inside the pal loader uh, with the SGX environment set, variable set to one instead of just running it directly. So for additional resources, getting your setup working, uh, we have um, a site on read the docs for graphene, as well as a publicly archived email list and a Slack channel. And we're more than happy to help if, if you run into problems that aren't sort of covered by the standard documentation. Thank you.